Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again for the very first time to the Fots and Crep Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here with part 47 of Xenogears, the PS1 version here on Retro Classics. Hope you guys are all doing well today. And on today's episode, we are back once again. I don't know. I think Hammer wants to talk to us because, like, I was just over here at the save point. And he just walked up, and did not move. I don't know if I was just in his path for his idle stuff or. What's going on? I think we're on board um, the Goliath, I, th I believe. I, I think. And I'm pretty sure the plan is to steal this thing. Bro, this thing is incredible. Boy, this is exciting. Like, look at all this place to walk around. And, uh, yeah, I don't, I might have just been in his path, I guess. I don't know. So they were this close to having it up and operational. Mm, how close? I kind of figured Ellie would know more. Oh. Okay, I guess talking to Rico, maybe I was just supposed to talk to everybody. I don't know. I think we can do this. Hmm. So when are you going to let me down? Oh. Just waiting to be disappointed? All right, man. Rude. <laughs> well then, shall we go? Uh, hang on a sec. Call out if you're all ready. Well, nobody has anything interesting to say or to talk about. I don't see anything else to interact with. Wasn't it just Satan who was giving us... Uh, almost three minutes in. Wasn't he giving us shit before? Like, you don't think about stealing this thing without knowing how it works, are you? I was like... Well, I don't see a user's manual anywhere, you know, like operations kind of thing. Also, what the, what the hell is this? What is this? It's like kind of in the foreground, I guess, because I can see Faye's arm behind it. Uh. Yeah, let's go. Let's fucking go. Well, everyone, this could be dangerous, so please be seated. Could be dangerous? <laughs> like, this is dangerous. Is everyone ready? It will shake a little. Couldn't you tell us? A bit sooner? Like Satan knows. This thing is just all propellers. Which, I mean, there's a bunch just like on top. Like three.
shaking has subsided. Should be in good shape for now. Bro, what are we gonna do now? Go to Uva as planned? Yeah. Faye. What happened, Doc? Huh? Oh. That's a problem. Yeah. That's. It's him. Faye, where are you going? Going out with the gear. Which I guess. We can store and also launch our gears from this ship? I guess? Fay. Master? Wait, is he calling him Master now instead of Bro? Even Ellie. And Rico? Like, are we just all... Doing a gear fight right now? Is that, where, is that what's happening? On top of the ship. Graph! You knew it was him. Wait, so this thing is that huge. Where... Also, weren't people, like, way smaller? In scale to the gears? What, whatever. Um. Crap, what was the random voice I gave this guy? It was like some creepy bad guy thing. Um. The Goliath wasn't built for you to use. You must remain on this land a little longer. Can't allow you to leave. The super guided ship. Huh? What? Wait, he's just going to do that to everybody? No? Apparently just Rico and Faye. Okay. So wait, I can't attack his gear? I can only attack him? His gear just isn't part of this fight. Hmm. Seems like a fight I maybe can't win. Just based on how much damage he was doing. Um, how the fuck is he so strong? Mariko, you are so slow. Ah, fuck, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. 
how much HP will that do? Oh, that's a lot. I mean, it took a lot of fuel, but I feel like that might be worth it. Wait, where's my combo thing? She is so much faster. Yeah, why is there no combo? option. that do so much more damage. Yeah, it's not like showing like the combo things. So I may as well just go for a fierce attack each time, right? Oh, that got him? So, you can now draw upon more of your power. If that's the case, then... Faye, hold on tightly now. Huh? Oh, he's incapacitated. Is that good enough? Oh, I get it. We're knocking him off of the ship. Okay. I'm slipping. Ah, look out! Master Satan, it's alright to throw the back the black creep but uh, in a probes, dog. But bro and Master Rico as well. If it is them, they are okay. Never mind that hammer. Go to that go to that trigger. Trigger? You mean this? What do I do with... Must fire. Look, it's coming. Hmm? Oh! They're here! What? 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 That's not how you use that. Um... I forget what the symbol's called, but it means about. Roughly. Like if you're unsure about, like, the exact quantity of something, it's like... About this many. Hammer, calm down and concentrate. It is heading straight at us. It's going straight for us. <laughs> it took her derbs. All I have to do is aim well and pull the trigger and fire. Aiming. Not my strong suit. Oh, it's like one of those carnival games. I can't get the reticle. Oh, hey, there we go. All right. It's like one of those laser pointers, you know, with like the different patterns? Like this? Good. Keep it there and do not move your aim. Get ready to fire in... Five. Why do a countdown? Four, three, two... Just fire now, dude. Fire! Y y yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Master Sir Hat. Did you just see my mad skills with the Z? This is the 90s after all. <laughs> I just might be a genius. What? By the way, what's up with bro and the gang? You don't think they fell off? Well, at least you still got me. Should be a piece of cake with me around, right master, sir? Smack, <laughs> Rico just bitch slaps them. Jeez, dude. Well, glad you guys are okay. <laughs> um, relatively speaking, Faye did 
get absolutely riggedy wrecked. Um, inner healing. Gear. Ability, no. Your option? There we go, fixed frame. I mean, it's using up a lot of my shit, but. Why is it so expensive for Rico? Was it because I didn't upgrade his shit? Does it go off of like what engine you have or something? Oh, I was gonna save, right. Um I'm assuming there's like a gear shop on the ship or something. Also, is Bard dead? <laughs> like, what happened to Bart and Sig and what's his name? Um, Mason and uh, all those guys. Ah, uh, Master Rico, please don't be mad. It was just a joke. Master Rico, it's because of you. I am what I am. Come on. Shut up. Yay, yikes. Mm, I'm still salty. <laughs> the person wasn't aiming for me. Why? Oh, that was intentional. Huh. Because you're part of Gebler and stuff? His plan was to kill Faye and Rico and then take you back, probably? Oh. Doc, I don't know how to say this, but I've got a bad feeling. Like, we're way too weak right now. <laughs> I'm thinking of that man in black. Thinking about him will not get you anywhere. Unless you're into that kind of thing, then you might, you know, get somewhere. Like the opposite of on. First of all, it's not like you. It's not like that. It's not like... It's like this feeling of uneasiness that I've had before. You too. Well, to tell the truth, I am getting a terrible feeling of deja vu. And I feel like we're being watched. Like, is that weird? Like, they probably have cameras on the ship, dude. Like, you did just steal this fucking secret project. I mean, come on. Bingo. Our information was correct. It's Kislev's. It's huge. It appears to be... That's it. Goliath. The one from the underground factory we've heard so much about. Crap. They're taking revenge. Ah, uh, but th that they're gonna bomb Bloodvik. Yeah. Oh, fuck, it's Bart. Okay, so he's fine. Somehow. <laughs> Are they not gonna address that? Like, how he got out of that situation? Also, did they straight up just fix the Yggdrasil? Like, how? The thing was destroyed. Whatever, whatever, it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's whatever. <laughs> Either way, no need to let him go. Wait, that was the voice I gave him, right? I think so. For Bart? Yeah. Either way, no need to let him go so fast, right? 
Oh, so he thinks... Yeah, of course they're gonna fucking do this. Every time, Bart. Every fucking time. Like, this time is unintentional. I, I, I get that. Also, what's wrong with your sprite? Like, why, why is there a line of just, like... Whatever. Gunner. Gungany. No, Bart missile fueling. It'll take 15 seconds from opening the hatch to engage the illuminator. Bronze. Oh, there you go. It's fixed now. Oh, fuck. That's right. The uh, German dolphin guy. Um. Don't show anything other than the surface with wind waves and our engine. So that it's minimal from looking at the water or the sonar. I think that's how I did his voice. Here we go. Batcon level one. Oh man, I've missed these guys. Of course they're all okay. Y young master, what is happening? What was that alarm all about? Young master, again. Again. Battle stations, everyone. Surface navigation. Close the vents. Blow the main tank. <laughs> Take the main tank out for dinner first. Prepare for anti-aircraft battle upon surfacing. Just doesn't know when to give up. Oh, that's what it was. That's how Sigmund sounded. I remember. Young master, the Gungany missiles. You need permission from more than ha a half of the crew members to... Surface combat. Stand by with the anti-aircraft guns. Gunner, give me the trigger for the BART missiles. That's why we renamed him. <laughs> I don't need permission for the BART missiles, only the Gungany missiles. <laughs> Wait, they're in the ocean now? I mean, that did seem like a more appropriate use for a submarine. Than, like going through sand. This seems bad. Although, if they wanted to avoid being like a huge fucking target on the world map, this is probably for the best. Like, intentionally destroy this thing. Get back on the Yggdrasil with like your gears and everything, which I would love to hear how how the hell one Bart's not dead, and two how everybody on the Yggdrasil is fine and the Yggdrasil is up and running, not only up and running but also in the ocean. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. We're probably not getting shot at. Okay, I'm glad. Not getting shot at is the shit. Anyway, Satan is it out? Satan is it? Satan. Anyway, Satan is it okay? That's. You would need another comma after Satan if you wanted to write it that way, but that's still not the best way to write that. Anyway, we're flying in such a large ship. What if Kislev or Ava finds us? Which you could easily do by looking up. We are fine. I thought ahead and picked a course over the sea. Nobody goes in the ocean. <laughs> there are not any military units stationed out here. What? How is that fucking possible? Even then, this thing is not something that will go down so easily. Oh look, something that could take us down easily. This cannot be right. Are we being attacked? Enemies? I do not know. They did not think they would be submerged here. Are we okay? Probably not. Unfortunately, there is no way we can avoid descending. Faye, Ellie, get out first. I will follow later. But... We have no time for a debate now, Faye. You think you have the skills needed to keep the Goliath in the air as long as possible? Now, I don't know how this works. <laughs> then hurry up and get out. 
Now then. You too, Hammer. You are going too. Y y yes, sir. Ah, quit dawdling. We're going. Yes, sir. Now, when did they... That ship. Sigurd. I think you need to rethink your method of disciplining. Well, it's... Kinda your own damn fault, dude. Like what, they didn't have any... They didn't have any method of, like, letting them know what their plan was? Or... Because, I don't know, if they had access to both, the Goliath and the Yggdrasil, they actually would have a method, like, they would be a force to be reckoned with. And on top of that, they have, like, four gears like Veltal and Steer Brigandir I think is what Bart's was named and like Ellie's I can't remember what hers was named but like yeah four like badass gears and two like huge vessels one that could you know take out one that would be very formidable in the water and one from the air like yeah, they'd be, they'd be well on their way, man. Yeah, <laughs> That's the power of the BART missile. Even Kislev's prototype can't stand up to it. Uh, hey. S stay back. Keep away. It's gonna crash right into the Yggdrasil, isn't it? Please don't. Let me keep one of them. Oh my... Dude, you've gotta be shitting me. Also, you're a submarine. Could've just dove. You have the coordinates of those recent dimensional vibrations. N24, E92, Ignis. Oh, like north 24 degrees, east 92 degrees? That kind of makes sense. In the Lahan region, the northeast or or ocean. <laughs> ocean. From the wave pattern, it's definitely a gatekeeper. There are no regular mainland flights. Could it be Shavat's a, a full aura? I think this is how Ramza sounded. No, the mass is different. It's a much smaller pattern. Can't believe that the lambs have a ship equipped with a gatekeeper. Probably is Kislev's. The last purge was not complete. Oh, fuck. Damn you. Shouldn't you pursue? What? The one who caused you so much pain and grief is on that ship, and it's headed for a... Uh, 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 Kuv... Akuve? Ku... Akuve. Akuvi? Kuvi. Let's just say Akuvi. That seems like that might be right. All the crew members on emergency alert. We're attacking the Kislev ship. Can't, Commander. We don't have orders from the capital yet. We move from here. I don't care. We won't allow them to escape. Son of a bitch, dude. Could you in a less irritating fashion? Crap. 
believe I already said your tricks will do you no good. Just trying to help. Didn't I help get those shackles off? What? Alright. Now you know the vessel will only respond to the Chosen One. They don't know this, but he's necessary for Carr. It's the very meaning of Carr's existence. Yes, I must thank you. After all, you did help me, didn't you? Mm. Is it for me? Or for him? Or for yourself? Ludovic again? We'll take the boundary gates one and two and the shortest way to Akuvi. Fine. Message from Kelvana. Dominia is withdrawing in ha 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 She will pursue the aerial battleship. Disobedience. Ramses' orders are to excavate the anima relics in Ignis. The watch over the lambs. What is he? We can recover the anima relics any time. Moreover, we learned that he was on the transferred ship. That's not how you spell transferred, I don't think, but okay. Ramses was probably after him. So was the trauma. Nay, in this case... Nigret? Ni- 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 Nigret? It's like night? Night? Nitrite? Nitrite? No, night Nirite? N- Ni- Ni- How would you say that? K N like night. 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 Ni. Whatever. It was the severe and external wounds. And is he? I'm assuming he's talking to the other one that was just talking. Hmm. This is a different red guy? I assume? Or maybe not. Maybe they just flipped profile thing. I think it's really hard to tell with these guys. According to the memory cube, we found multiple subjects around him that possess the animus factor. Is it... Sufradi. Suf... Sufradi? Alright. The subject of the M project. Yes. Coincidence? Nay, it is beyond that. They were either attracted to him or... Oh, this is a different red one, because his head is wider and one of his eyes doesn't work or something? Unexpectedly, it's developing into the same condition as 500 years ago does not rule out the possibility that he planned it this way intentionally. The transfer point is a Kuvi. It's near the Thames. Is that a river? Pretty sure the Thames is an IRL river. If it is a Kuvi, Krellian's heading that way. Krellian himself? What for? Seems they found it. For over 4,000 years he searched for the Boim's the Boim? The Boim's legacy. Legacy. Is that the technology he was talking about? Yes. Molecular engineering. Nanotechnology. The land of all creations. The capital of the Boim culture. Resting beneath the ocean of Akuvi. 
For 19 years, the ethos kept it secret. Is this acceptable, Kane? Oh. Oh, Kane is the Emperor guy. Okay. Because we've seen this guy in, like, multiple cutscenes before, and I think they've only referred to him as the Emperor before. Yes, it will do for now. 19 years. It coincides with the time when the Earth shifted. Indeed. But I don't understand. That technology doesn't seem that crucial to us. He is still lamb. Giving him the ability to do as he wishes is a questionable. There are times when even we do not know what he is thinking. Oh, it is a Council of Thirteen kind of bullshit situation. They just showed one of the monitors. Yeah, and another monitor. Like a different guy on it. And there's another one. It's like from the angle, but there's an old 90s like test, color test thing for your TV. Let it be. I will take responsibility for that. On another matter, weren't you all going to eliminate it? It's just by chance. Probable the location is Ignis. Anyway, I never believed it would be eliminated so easily. The purge was a failure. It shall never happen again. I can't keep track of all these fucking guys and their voices. Like, they look too similar and it's... No. If the Animus are together, it's all the more reason. Yes. Kane, why are you so concerned about it? To us, he is insignificant. It could only be a poison to us. It could never ready... It could never be a remedy. And... Oh wait, that's a different one from the other red one. His head's like a little whiter. Alright. And no, no, but... And... And... And no... And no... Nelb. And a nelb? Don't believe... You don't still believe that, do you? That is merely an illusion, not even an ideal. The result is what I am now. It is as you see it. Or rather, it is the emotion you have long forgotten. Cain, we are gods. And... Does that have to do with anything? Like, it just... Every time they talk, I feel like it's completely out of context. Just a bunch of mystical mumbo-jumbo, and I'm just like... I'm sure there's, like, something... Kind of, like, reason to all of it, or whatever. Like, not once have I... Finished one of their conversations and went like... Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah, that... Uh, okay, alright. That, uh... Oh, huh, interesting. Like, the only thing I got out of that is, like, that guy that we've seen before, the Emperor, his name is Kane. Uh, ooh. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> Almost exactly. Where am I? I was with Faye heading for the rear block. Faye! Where are you, Faye? Oh, we're playing as Ellie. Ooh, special treat. Ooh, magish. She's got that hot rod. Got that metal jacket. She's got the ether stone and a metal helmet. Wait, wait, what even is this? What am I doing? Alright. Do, 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 do. Oh, fuck. <laughs> She's like falls in the ocean. Woo! Oh. <laughs> I thought it was gonna let me for a sec. <laughs> Rumble, rumble. Oh, I can go in the water a little bit. Eh. Eh. Under this panel. No surprise. Ellie, you're awake. Am I awake? Oh. Yes? What were you doing? I was looking around inside here. It was less than two days worth. 
Of what? Supplies? Food. We're lucky we even found any. Where is everyone? Are we the only survivors? We gotta do something. Guess I'll go catch some fish. The old fashioned way? You're just gonna like grab them? Hey. They're okay. What? They're okay. Doc, Rico, Hammer, everyone. They're all going to be okay. I assume. Where are you guys? Hammer, Rico, wake up. Where are we? What is this place? Something smells. We are inside the ship of Botanist crew. The Yggdrasil? Why wouldn't you just say the Yggdrasil? They rescued us after we were shot down in the Goliath. Who the heck are Bart and his crew? Oh yes, I guess we never talked about that. Let us say they are bandits, robbing a Va. There's probably a better way to say that. Bart is their leader, though he's still a young man. Robber in this day and age? Man with an attitude. I like it. Flippantly, I'm just deciding that I like this idea. If you want to start off by going to meet Bart, Hmm, read my mind. I'm staying here. So the Yggdrasil is fine? Also, what the fuck is this? I mean, I know this is like... Painting thing, and there's like clothes. Can we finally get Faye that burger? I'm staying put here. Going places with you guys seems like a bad idea at this point. <laughs> um... Yeah, it's been a while since we've been on the Yggdrasil. Also, how is the Yggdrasil, like, totally fine? I mean, that's probably how they're gonna explain it away. Be like, uh, oh, I, I dove at the last minute. You know, or some shit like that. But... I don't know, man. Like, how did they fix it up to look... I mean, granted, it'd be easier that way. But how did they fix it up? The ship was, like, snapped in half and, like, exploded. Like... They would have basically started from scratch. Anyway, it's... It's fine. Um, I keep thinking triangle is, like menu button for some reason? It, it's not. Also, Rico, you're not at full EP for some reason. I guess I didn't automatically restore my shit, which I don't know why he was missing ether points in the first place, but alright, whatever. Cool. So next episode, guys, we are going to be exploring the Yggdrasil, I guess. And, um... Yeah, I kind of figured the Goliath we wouldn't be keeping, but still... Like, what's the name of this chapter that we're on? I'm assuming it's something different. Escape Ignis. Ah, uh, cool. Um, I'm guessing Akuvi is probably the next destination, like they were talking about. Um, I guess. I don't know. I'm just saying, like... It seems pretty likely. I mean, at this point, I have no idea what we're going to be doing. Like, no clue. It doesn't seem obvious in any way. Like, wait, Escape Ignis. Isn't Ignis the name of, like, this whole area. Hmm. Like we might be in for like a second world map kind of situation, I guess, maybe. I don't know. 
Also, weren't we supposed to be helping, like, Nissan? Like... Granted, there's, like, larger powers that be that are... Like, the whole Kislev thing is kind of like a puppet situation. Like, it seems like even taking out Ramses wouldn't have fixed things. Although, like, granted, I don't know what the deal is with Graf, either. Like... But it seems like the people at the very top of the power pyramid, like Emperor Kane and like the council and stuff, it seems like they can't really do much on their own, so they need their puppets. Which I'm assuming some of the main ones are... Yeah, I mean, that kind of seems like the most likely situation that we're going to have to take out Ramses and Graf. And then from there, although we still don't know who that mystery person was that showed up in the gear that, like, destroyed the Yggdrasil. Like, we saw him in a flashback. And, like, presumably he's probably Wise Man. And that's why Wise Man is always in the robe and mask, is because, like, maybe the mask, like, holds back his power and lets him keep some of his sanity, and when he's in the other form, he's just, like, out of control. And, you know, and does, like, the Broly Super Saiyan kind of shit? Seems like. Probably. I don't know. I don't know. This game just... yeah. There, there hasn't really been any... story points where I've been like, I don't know, it borrows a lot from like Star Wars and Evangelion. And uh, what was going on? Occasionally Star Trek, but I mean Star Wars borrows from Star Trek too, which borrowed from like Flash Gordon and like um, a couple other older things. Anyway. Point is, none of those things would surprise me, <laughs> like at this point. Um, and I don't even know how close we are to disc two, like, because this is a two disc game. At some point, we're gonna have to switch to disc two, which I don't even know if the game launches on disc two or probably works like Square's other games, where, like, it will as long as the game file is on disc 2. Otherwise, it'll probably do that, like, Final Fantasy thing, like, even, I mean, they figured that out even before Final Fantasy 7, where, you know, it's like, oh, please switch to disc whatever, you know. Probably. Just saying. But anyway, that's, uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode. So thank you all for being here, guys, once again. Uh, before we get going, it's time for the outro, which I should probably. Uh, yeah, just to be safe. I have done it for this track before. Uh, where I do the gain cut. So let's just do that. Um, but yeah, very special thank you going out to the amazing people who make it possible. Uh, the current Farts and Crap Show members, which at the time of recording is Novalis Draconis and Aaron Schick, thank you so much for choosing to support the show a bit more directly via channel membership. It vastly helps out, very much appreciate it. And uh, if you guys want to be incredibly awesome like these amazing people, get in on all those membership benefits. Check out that join button down below. If there's no join button for you, there's also a link in the description that talks about becoming a channel member. It's the same redirect as the join button. But um, yeah, tiers start at three bucks a month. That's 10 cents a day. It gets you into all the basic stuff, including getting to vote on the series that get made here on the channel via the members choice polls, which we do have one going right now um, up until the end of the month. It was posted on the 
24th, which was the start of the final week of October 2024. And um, yeah, since it is a thing we do once a month for a full seven days. So um, yeah, that's going to be going until the start of November. So if it is November 1st, then like for you when you're watching this, uh, then the winner has already been decided. But if it is not November 2024, then uh, you guys can still get in on the vote, which is over on the membership tab. And that will be this poll is going to be deciding the series that will follow Bloodborne. Um, because I don't know how many episodes are left of this. That is... I mean, but that is going to be the next member's choice poll, more than likely. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, there are some options there. And uh, if you're a new channel member, any of the previous member's choice polls that you may have missed, uh, you can still vote on those over on the membership tab. They stay open until leave your vote. And uh, retroactive input is considered for future polls. So even if you're just a member for one month, you can vote on as many of the previous members' choice polls as you want and uh, still influence the content that gets made here for quite some time. So, uh, but yeah, this is an approximation of future announcements from the past. So if you guys want all the announcements as they happen and the bell doesn't work for you, totally got you the bell doesn't work for me either but there are four other ways you guys can stay up to date there's the community tab here on the channel the farts and crap show twitter slash x the farts and crap show blue sky which was set up recently or the discord um i always post on all four whenever there's an announcement although probably going to be phasing out the twitter depending on you know stuff uh, it just, there's more crap happening with that once again. So the blue sky is kind of the new one to replace that. But anyway, um, but yeah, there are links for those down in the description, also on the channel banner. And um, yeah, it's going to do it for today. So thank you all once again for being here, guys. Till next time, take care, and I hope you all have a beautiful day.